Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. All right. Thank you, John. And thanks, everyone. This is Happy English Podcast, episode 538, News Vocabulary. Hey, guys, it's Michael here from Happy English, and I'm back with another podcast English lesson. All right. Let's get right down to it. As everyone knows, and I'm sure you know, it's a whole new world. The coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, is affecting most people's lives in a variety of different ways. If you are living in an English-speaking country or following the news in English, there is some key vocabulary that you will need to understand what's going on in your area. What I want to do for today's English lesson is to go over this vocabulary and look at some examples from the news which uses these words and phrases. And to help you guys out, I have posted this entire transcript for free on my website for your reference. Just go to myhappyenglish.com and check lesson 538 to read it or download it. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. The first word is declare. Declare is a verb and means to say officially. When someone, like a government official or company executive, states an official policy or rule, they declare it. For example, the president declared a new sales tax of 10%. The Prime Minister declared that all schools be closed. The important thing here in the USA that the President and a lot of local governments declared is a state of emergency. The Mayor in New York declared a state of emergency in the city last week. Also last week, the President declared a state of emergency and many other U.S. state governments have also declared a state of emergency. A state of emergency is a situation in which the government has more power and the people have less freedom. A state of emergency is often declared after a natural disaster or in other local or national situations. One of the things that the government can declare during a state of emergency is to suspend schools, suspend public transportation, or suspend other laws. Suspend means to stop something for a short time. Here are some examples. If a student misbehaves in school, they may be suspended. Here in New York City, the mayor suspended school, and many colleges and universities have suspended classes on campus. The news also talks about taking measures. When you hear the word measure, you probably think about the verb measure, which we use when we check the size or weight of something. But measure is also used especially in the news, as a noun. The government is taking measures. A measure is a detailed plan or action which is done to reach a certain goal. If you start cutting down on what you are eating and begin exercising, we can say that you are taking measures to lose weight. In other words, you are doing something to lose weight. You are taking measures. And we often use the phrase, take measures. For example, during the state of emergency, the city is taking measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Last week, the stock market took measures to suspend trading. One measure that the government uses during a state of emergency is quarantine. Quarantine is used as both a noun and a verb. Quarantine means to separate one or more people from others. We say 
people are in quarantine or people are quarantined. For example, those patients are quarantined in a special area of the hospital. We can't see Jack right now because he is in quarantine. One other phrase which is related to quarantine is shelter in place. Shelter in place means to stay inside in a safe location until it is safe to go outside. Basically, shelter in place means to stay home until the emergency situation has passed. Here are some examples. In many countries in Europe, the governments have declared a rule to shelter in place. Make sure you have enough food when you shelter in place. And the last phrase for this lesson is social distancing. Social distancing means keeping a physical space or keeping a physical distance between people in order to prevent spreading or catching a virus or sickness. With social distancing, people do not gather in large groups. For example, with social distancing, people sit or stand away from others on public transportation. Because of social distancing, places like movie theaters, concert halls, and museums are closed. Okay, that's the basic vocabulary that you'll need to get through the news during this world crisis. Remember, you can get a free copy of the transcript for this podcast at myhappyenglish.com. Stay safe, guys. Remember to wash your hands for 20 to 30 seconds, including your thumbs, and practice social distancing. This is Podcast Lesson 538. Thanks for studying, and I'll see you next time at Happy English. Catch you later. This podcast was brought to you by Happy English. Please visit myhappyenglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English. 